Hey, thanks for making it to Veterans Info Tap. I'm glad you made it. Here's the headline. Busting misconceptions about toxic exposure screenings. So, let's read through this. This is actually an announcement from the VA that came out on April 17th, 2024. And I wanted to share it with you today regarding the toxic exposure screening. So please, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, share with a friend, all that good stuff. I truly appreciate it. All right, let's jump back into it here. There's a subheadline and it says, learn common misconceptions of toxic exposure screenings and the reality to debunk them. All right, so that's Stan. He has everywhere he can go, but he wants to be right here. All right. Uh, all right, let's move on. If you've had a VA healthcare appointment in the last year or so, your care team probably completed a toxic exposure screening. Even as the screening has become a routine part of the VA healthcare, there are still some common misconceptions. Let's break down exactly what the screening is and what it isn't. So this is important because there is um, or there has been some questions about look. You did a toxic screening and now look, here I am and there's been no actions. Uh, so let's read through it. The basics. Developed as part of the 2022 PACT Act, the toxic exposure screenings launched at VA medical centers and clinics nationwide in November 2022. Since then, millions have enrolled veterans, millions of enrolled veterans have received their screenings and discussed potential exposure concerning their health care uh, with their concerns with their health care providers. You get it. Let's move on. The screening averages about five to ten minutes and typically occurs during routine health care appointments. So when you go in for your appointment and they start asking you this stuff, that's why, right? So they're just they're just trying to condense it all and, and check boxes, right? So the screening the screenings average about five to ten minutes and typically occurs during a routine health care appointment. During your toxic exposure screening, you and a VA clinician will have a conversation about toxic exposures you may have experienced during your military service. A clinician may contact you or connect you uh, to an additional support and resources if you answer yes. As an enrolled veteran, you will receive the screening at least once every five years. If you answer that you are unsure if you are, uh, if exposures occurred, your care team will offer the screening every year to ensure your health has not been affected. During your military service, you may have experienced several types of possible exposures or hazards, such as open burn pits and airborne hazards, Gulf War related exposures, Agent Orange, radiation, Camp Lejeune, uh, contaminated water exposure and others. You can visit uh, a site map um, or, or the website on the VA to learn more about the known potential exposures. So now it says here, let's look at some of the common misconceptions. So here are some of the common misconceptions around screening and the reality to debunk them. Misconception one, the toxic exposure screening is a comprehensive exam. The reality is, the purpose of the toxic exposure screening is for enrolled veterans to self-report potential exposures to toxins during their military service. Getting your screening starts a conversation about your exposure concerns so that any future symptoms or clinical evaluations you need can be considered alongside your history uh, exposure. No clinical diagnosis Diagnostic tests or physical exams occur as part of the screening. Still, the screening may trigger discussions that lead to early diagnosis of exposure-related conditions if they occur. Misconception number two, getting a toxic exposure screening could increase or decrease your VA disability compensation. That's a good one. So... <clears throat> Again, will getting a toxic exposure screening, uh, you know, decrease or increase your disability compensation? The reality is, the screening does not play a role in determining VA disability rating or compensation. Suppose you report an exposure during your screening. In that case, you will be offered connections and information on benefits registry exams, 
and clinical resources as appropriate, including information on how to file a claim. In other words, if you if you haven't filed for something and you, you get diagnosed for it, eventually they want, they're telling you, look, we're not going to do anything for you. You need to go file for it yourself. Misconception number three, toxic exposure screenings provides legal and medical verification of exposure. The reality is you will not receive any legal or medical verification of exposure as part of the screening. However, you However, your response will, will be added to your VA medical record to include exposure concerns as a cornerstone of your care across your lifetime. This approach is called exposure informed care. Next uh, bullet here, misconception number four, the screening is only for older veterans. The reality is the screening is for all veterans enrolled in VA health care regardless of age. If you are not enrolled, apply now. Uh, misconception number five, how many are there? Uh, I think there's six. So misconception five, you don't need the screening if you're already joined a VA environmental health registry. The reality is the toxic exposure screening is not part of the VA's environmental health registries and does not serve as a registry evaluation. Learn more about the differences between registries and the screenings by visiting the VA.gov. Uh, moving on, Misconception number six, you don't need to get your toxic exposure screening if you are already service connected. The reality is, regardless of your service connection status, including 100% permanent and total, uh, receive this screening. receiving the screening helps include your exposure concerns at the forefront of your health care. This allows your health care team to provide exposures, exposure informed care throughout your lifetime. You can ask about toxic exposure screenings at your next VA healthcare appointment. Contact your local VA facility and request a screening if you do not have an upcoming appointment. Uh, and then there's more, um, one, two, three, four other uh, links here in this. Uh, uh, toxic exposure screenings at a glance, an infographic. Uh, there's another one that's fast facts about toxic exposure screenings. There's another one that's ask about the toxic exposure screenings at your next appointment and then the last one enrolled veterans uh, have you received your toxic exposure screening so i will just say this remember that the va is a three-headed monster va healthcare va benefits cemeteries so on the healthcare front regardless of your service connection status you still want to make sure you're being taken care of and letting the healthcare team know that you had some exposure potentials uh well again hopefully Hopefully you never have an issue, but if you end up having something pop up, early diagnosis is always the key. So you want them to keep an eye open for it. With that, thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Have a great one. And remember, if we don't take care of each other, something went wrong.